Hello everybody, and uh, welcome back to my Storm Sylvaner's Lock, and we are now on to episode 5. If we have a little recap from the previous episode, we battled our way back to Violet City, um, trained up some of our Pokemon, and um, we also found, well, we found out that the Violet City gym is a flying type gym, and then we wandered around a little bit, had a look at some other routes, and we caught ourselves a new Pokemon. And as you can see from below and here, we've got some Mareep called Dolly. And I made the, de the decision of swapping Dolly into my team um, for Bugsy. Um, <clears throat> I'd really like Bugsy. I'd really like to evolve Bugsy into a beauty flight at some point. But if this is a flying type gym then uh, an electric type Pokemon is going to be infinitely more useful than um, a bug type Pokemon. So um, I'm sure we're probably a little bit under level to uh, take on the gym leader, but we'll go ahead and have a look and uh, see, see what's what. So in we go. No, no way up. Is this gym not open yet? Yo, champ in the making, you must be here to challenge Faulkner, the gym leader, right? You are quite welcome. Almost. The city has a tower called the Sprout T Tower where trainers come to train themselves. Challenging Faulkner might be too difficult if you haven't gone through Ooh, their training. Ha 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 ha. Right, okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go and uh, challenge the Sprout Tower. Hmm, I wonder, wonder how easy this is going to be. I'm not sure. Slightly concerned about my Pokemon still being a little bit underleveled. I don't really want to have to spend too much of a, an episode grinding. Anywho, this is Sprout Tower, new area, so we can probably catch the first encounter that we find as well. Which is pretty cool, because I'm sure there's some wild Pokemon in here. I mean, I'd guess that we're probably looking at Bellsprout. Yeah? Sprout Tower. But I know there are other Pokemon as well, too. So let's have a little wander around, see what happens. And we have a trainer. However hard we battle, the tower will still stand strong. Here we go, here we go. Into battle with... Sage Nico. Sage Nico sent out Sunken. Level 8, not too bad. I mean, again. Sparks is the least level, so we're getting him out first. Ah, oh, Bite did a fairly decent amount of damage there on some of this Sunken, so that's, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, let's go for another Bite. Hopefully, we can take the Sunken out. Oh, brilliant. Sunkern is got on. Fantastic. I'd really like it if we could level up a little bit more. Um, we'll keep we'll keep Sparks in for a little bit. Um, but if you know, if we look like we're in trouble, then we'll, we can switch out. Um, I think Blaine knows Ember now, so. He can take out these brow sprouts without too much of a, you know, too much of a problem. So, well, you know, we'll keep going for the bite. Hopefully, the fine whip won't do too much damage. No, good. We've, we've got this. We've got this, Sparks. You take him out. We can gain you a level. We really need to find a Thunderstone from somewhere. Because then, you know, if we do evolve Sparks into um, a Jolteon, then, you know, we can bring Bugsy back out. I've, you know, I've played a lot with a Marie. But Marie is a really cool, but the main reason we've switched um, Marie in is so that um, we've got you know some type advantage in the gym. It's always good to have type advantage in the gym, and nobody else, you know, nobody else has really got it. I guess Betty maybe. I don't know how rock rock type is good against flying types. Um, Let's use Ember. 
super effective against this bell sprout. Yeah, so rock type moves are super effective against flying type moves, but I uh, can't remember off the top of my head. I don't think Betty actually has any decent rock type moves. So you know, they could he could he can take normal uh, she can take normal moves and she could take the uh, flying type moves, but whoa, that was a lot of experience. Whoa, rocks. Uh, that's cool. Uh, well, uh, we'll pop Sparks back in. Sparks can get that bite in. That's going to be effective against Psychic type. Hopefully, it's not going to have too much of an overpowered confusion attack or something like that. Um, but we'll give it a go. We'll give Bite a go. We're faster, which is good. Oh, and that's good. One hit KO. Brilliant. So, so far, Sprout Tower's not causing us too many problems. Um, I'm going to be a bit careful, actually. I might just check to see how many potions we've got. Uh, just to be on the safe side. We've got four potions. So if we do run into a little bit of trouble, we've got time. We've got potions to help us. Level us up, uh, heal us up and get us back out again. Um, and let's just have a little look. If has Sparks got run away? Summary. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Yeah, he ha yeah, good. He has. So that means that if we need to escape, we can use Sparks to run away from random encounters at least. Um, so we're not going to get stuck into fighting Pokemon if we're not in a position to do so. Let's remember the first encounter though we can still catch, but it's not happening. Does that mean there's no Pokemon here? Could have sworn there were Pokemon here. Oh well, let's take out this uh, another Sage here. We stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon by fighting them. Making by making them fight. We show our respect to Pokemon by making them fight. Sage Chow. I see the common theme here. We've got Bell Sprouts. So we'll use their sparks a bit. I guess really we ought to be bringing Dolly out, but Dolly's not going to do too much against Bell Sprouts. Um, but we ought to really get Dolly some levels because I'm guessing that probably Fal Falconers, Faulkners, Faulkners, Falconer, Faulkners Pokemon um, will be level twelve, maybe thirteen. So if we could get our team up to around about that same level then that's going to make things a lot easier and if I do need to do you know if I do think feel like I need to do a bit more grinding then I will do do it off screen so you don't have to watch that Sparks has gained another level so oh an egg an ex an execute excellent uh, <laughs> it's funny it just reminds me of um, I've been watching a let's play by <coughs> The one integral, he's doing a Pokemon Y, X, I can't remember which version, but an Egglock, and he's got an Execute, and because it's an Egglock, he's using lots of egg puns in his titles, which is kind of cool. I might put a link at the bottom, so that if you, uh, you want to go and give his videos a watch, then you can do. Well worth, well worth a watch, and I really enjoy watching his. And he's had an execute, and he's evolved it into an ex an executor. Executor. I've never used execute before. I always think that they both both of those Pokemon are just really weird. It's kind of like how um, it's kind of a bit like how Magnemite. I think well, I think Magnemite's really weird too. And Diglett, how like a Pokemon can be one, but when it evolves. It can be more than one, or the reverse. So, like, execute is lots of little eggs, and then it evolves into a tree with eggs on. It's a bit, just a bit odd. Although, you know, that's the beauty of Pokemon, I guess. That some of the um, some of the evolutions and some of the Pokemon are a little bit strange. Oh, a Poliwag. Well, this is the perfect opportunity to get Dolly into this uh, let's play. So here we go, Dolly. Come on out. There she is, Dolly the sheep. Dolly the Marie. And uh, hopefully she's got some kind of electric type attack. Let's go. Oh, she has. She's got Thundershock. Brilliant. 
Quabble's not going to do much. That's not effective against us. Thundershock, though, should really just take this down. Boom! Nearly all the way. It's a little slightly disappointing. I was hoping for a one kit. Oh, no! Not the hint. No, sis! Oh, come on, Dolly. Wake up. Wake up. Is Dolly actually snoring? Did it actually snore? I'm going to listen now. Sh oh, I can't listen for whether she was snoring or not because she woke up. Which is great. But yeah, I'm sure that was a snoring sound. I don't remember them making like a proper legitimate snoring sound when they're asleep. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so Dolly's gaining some decent experience there. So hopefully it's not going to take long to level her up a couple of levels ready to take on the gym. Which is good news. Right, let's have a look at the Pokemon. Let's have a look. Sparks. Sparks is not doing too bad. Um, I might just switch smart Sparks out though because it is level 11. Uh, we'll give Flappy a go because, you know, if we, could, if we come across a, a Bell Sprout then um, Flappy is effective against that too. Grass type, fly type. Here we go. Climbing the tower still. Grabbing this item, which is X accuracy. Oh, probably go ahead and sell that. Never use battle items. Never use battle items. Oh, here we go. Here's our first encounter in Sprout Tower. What's it gonna be? Ooh, excellent. A Meditite. I was not expecting that. That is a decent. That is pretty decent. That is not bad at all. So it's level 11. Oh no, is it gonna take us out? <sighs> No, we're flying. Flying beats fighting. Flying beats fighting. Oh, but if now, if I hit it with a gust, take it out. I don't want it to... Ah, confusion! No, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, man! If I switch someone in... Oh, now, this is the dilemma of the Nuzlocke. If I switch someone in... They're going to have to take a confusion. Or a fighting type move. And have I got anyone who can do that? Oh my goodness. Oh, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Oh, um, um, let's go for a potion. See what happens. Oh man, this is stressful. No, this is no good. If I switch someone in, oh, they're totally going to get taken out by this meditate. But I want to catch the meditate. Meditate. Do I really need this Pokemon? And there's no guarantee if I run away with Flappy that we're going to be able to escape. Oh no, this is not good. Oh man, this is where I'm, you know, I have this dilemma now. Oh, oh no, what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Sorry guys, watching me kind of mm, deliberate, it's like... Who can take that confusion? Who can, who's got high special defence? Oh, uh, special defence, nine. That's not good. Special defence, special defence, 19. Won't be able to take it. Snips. No. It's looking like Blaine's going to have to take it, but I don't, really don't want... Oh, I really don't want Blaine to faint. Well, it shouldn't one hit one hit KO him. If it doesn't one hit KO, oh bide! Oh, that is sweet. Right. Okay. So bag. This might not work, but I'm gonna give it a try. He's biding anyway. He's biding his time. So we don't want to be doing anything that's gonna 
give him power for his move. Ah, oh. That's okay, because he's doing bide. So I've got time. I've got time. I can throw some more Pokeballs. Go, 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 Pokeball. I might use a heal ball next. Come on, Pokeball. Come on. No. Okay, right. So, I reckon we do a tackle. We throw another ball. And then we run away. Oh, that was crap. Oh, oh, good. That's good. That's good news. We we can we can afford to throw another ball, can't we? We can afford to throw another ball. Come on, get in there. We know Blaine can take these confusions too. Oh, yes. We're intact. Smart. Smart. We've got Meditite. Meditite. Give Meditate some kind of Kung Fu move name. Yes. Do you know what I'm going to call him? I'm going to... Do you know what I'm going to call him? I'm going to call him Monkey. Right. Because when I was little, there was this, like, crazy... kind of TV program about this. I think it was based on, like... And I don't want to offend anyone if I get this wrong, but I think it was based on like Buddhism or something. And Monkey was Monkey was like a guardian or something and he had these friends. There was a pig a pig dude and uh it, you can tell it's a long time since I watched it. But my, I thought Monkey was really cool and he had he, he went around on like a floating cloud. Yeah, monkey magic. So he's he's going to be monkey. Monkey meditate. Not sure that we'll uh, necessarily use meditate, but it's Good to have him in the team. Now, I think we're going to need to heal up. If we heal up Sparks and Dolly, uh, not Dolly, Flappy. Heal up. If we heal up Sparks and Flappy, put Sparks out first uh, because those wild Pokemon are like level 11. We may or may not be able to take them out. So if I stick Spark, if I stick Sparks up first, then we can at least kind of ensure that we can run away from wild Pokemon and not necessarily have to fight them. Uh, which kind of gives us a little bit of protection. We don't actually need to catch any more Pokemon in here. We've got our um, Nuzlocke Pokemon. Monkey. Uh, there we go. So let's switch that, switch that round. So Sparks is up front. He's got run away. So if we need to, we can make a bit of a hasty escape. We've got a trainer here. So give this trainer a battle. Wonder what what sage this is going to be. It is Sage Edmund. Oh, and Sage Edmund has a Marie. Um, I'm guessing that someone could keep Sparks in. Give Sparks a go. There's a likelihood here that we're going to get paralysed because I think my reaps have slight static. This is a possibility. That's just going to raise its special defence, which is fine because we're going for the bite. So that's not really going to interfere with anything that we're doing. Good. Yeah, we've got the paralyse, which is a bit annoying. But uh, we're taking no damage yet, so hopefully we can... Um, we can get past this paralyzer and get some more, get um, maybe one more attack we might be all we need. Hopefully get that attack in, take out the Mareep. Um, yeah, he's just growling us, so maybe we might need to, two more attacks. Yeah, one more should do it, so let's go for bite. Oh, we've got a Thundershot, but we should be okay, we should be able to take that, yeah. That's fine. Okay, let's go for bite again. Um, this Mareep's not too much of a threat if it's just bulking up its defence because we're just biting, aren't we? Um, yeah, we've got that bite in, so that should be that should be. A, yep, yeah, that's it done. Brilliant. 
Awesome, well done. Sparks. Sparks is getting some more XP. And, oh, we've got a Hoot Hoot. Yeah, so if we go ahead and we'll switch Dolly in. Dolly's got that Thunder Shark that should be super effective against Hoot Hoot. Hit it with a Thunder Shark. And that should, maybe not one, one hit KO, but we should be able to. Oh yeah, that's not some nothing. That's done nothing to us. The air coat is not getting through our fluffy wall. Okay, so we're going to do one more fun shot. That should be enough to take out the Hutu, cause especially because we missed out on being hit, uh, hypnotised since sleep there, which is good. Yeah, going to sleep is really annoying when, you know, when the Pokemon gets put to sleep. Well, we missed out. We dodged that hypnosis. Dolly's levelling up, which is going to help us a lot with Jim. Our special attack's not moving very much, which could be a problem. Although it's still probably one of our highest ones. Can't remember what nature this is. Oddish. So let's switch out. Let's switch Dolly back out. Let's go into Blaine and get that Ember off. So we can make short work of that Oddish. And so we can carry on up the tower. Uh, make it up to the top. And uh, probably there's a main sage guy, isn't there, up there? Who we can go ahead and try and beat. Super, we should be able to get another one in. That's it. Oh, that did a bit. That did a little bit. But we're quicker. We should take this other shout. Take it out. Oh, man. So close. No! Oh, we're all right. We're faster. We're faster. That's it. Well done. Uh, I kind of feel like I want to go back to the Pokemon Center. Maybe pick up a few more potions and stuff before we, before we plow on. I know that's going to be really annoying for you guys to watch. But if we've got more trainers to fight as well, we want to make sure we're in a decent position. Oh, you're weak. Yes, you are. It's only because I'm strong. You're not weak. I'm strong. Oh, go away, Joey. You shouldn't have put him in the phone book. Right. Sparks is paralysed. But Runaway should still work, shouldn't it? Right. Okay, Rune. Really quickly, just head back to Pokemon Center. Heal up. Go to the Pokemon. Buy a few more potions. Um, just so that we can get... Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, get a few more potions so that we can get to the top of this tower. So here we go, really quick. Sorry guys, if uh, this backtracking is a bit annoying. We've got, ooh, about five, max ten minutes left, really. So here we go, right, let's hurry back. Just head really quickly back to the Pokemon Center. Heal up our Pokemon. Grab some post. You see, this is another reason why the later games are good. When the um, when the Pokemart and Pokemon Center are sort of together in the same building, you know, like, then you can get like all your healing and and your buying and selling all done at the same time in the same place. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of saves you a bit of time, doesn't it? But no, not this game. We're gonna. Scoot out of here. Oh, I actually don't know how much money I've got. Maybe I might not have too much money left for buying extra potions and stuff. But we'll have a look. Just head on in here real quick. That's cool. We'll have a little chat. We need to buy some potions. We'll get four just to get us back up to five. Yep. Excellent. That's cool beans, cool beans. Do we need anything else? Maybe take one more. Or a couple more of those. Because if there's like, you know, more Mareeps or whatever, it would be quite handy to have Paralyzed Heal. And how many antidotes have we got? Oh, we've got five, so that's plenty of those. We don't need any more of those. Great, okay, so stocked up. See ya. Let's head back to the Sprout Tower. I think what we'll do is we'll try and get to the top of the Sprout Tower this episode. And then um, take on the gym next episode. 
feel like. I don't feel like I've hardly done anything this episode. Where does the time go, eh? Go to 25 minutes and uh, I don't feel like I've done anything. But, you know, we have caught a Pokemon, which is good. We are making our way up this tower, um, which is also good. We'll get to the top. Uh, we'll talk to the sage guy and then we'll be allowed into the gym so well worth it well worth it not too many random encounters as well which is good so we don't want to be stopping and starting too much with the wild pokemon get up this ladder oh get up the ladder get up the ladder back come on ah so we were pretty close to the top anyway so what's this what's this oh potion you know maybe we needn't have done that but yeah in hindsight Hindsight's a good thing, isn't it? Oh, random counter. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, we've got Starly. Well, I'm not really going to fight this because I want to make sure that I'm in a decent position to take on these sage sages. There's probably about four of them, so we're just going to use. We're going to run away, and we're going to have a go at fighting the first sage. So let's see. Bring it on. These sages have not been too tricky, so hopefully, you know, we're going to be able to uh, get through these guys without any. Disasters, although I've said that now, Sage Gin will probably take us out. Come on, Brass Brass. Go on, Sparks. Ooh, ooh, level 12, level 12, level 12. I need to bring out Blaine. Let's bring out Blaine. Let's play to our let's play to our strengths. Pokemon works when you play to your strengths. Okay, so fire types, grass types. Let's fight. Ember. Probably need maybe two of these. Oh, that's close. Good, he's using growth again, so we should be able to take him out. Uh, get in there faster. We don't want to um, let him use a move after he's using a couple of growths on us, really. I'm going to preserve Blaine. He's probably going to be su really super useful uh, in these battles. We could try. We could try Flappy too, because Flappy is a flying type. So maybe we'll we'll have a go at trying Flappy in the next one. Might just just in case. Where's Flappy? Uh, we'll switch Flappy. Maybe switch Flappy up to the top because then we can try like a flying type move if it's another Bell Sprout. Here we go. So we've got. Oh, the Elder's got Flash, has he? So that means uh, we can go into Dark Cave and catch Pokemon. Have a little nose around Dark Cave sometime. Sage Neil. Oh, Sage Neil's got a Psyduck, of course, of course. You know, all that planning for it to be Bell Sprout. It turns out to be Psyduck. So I guess we're going to go with Dolly. Hopefully, Psyduck's confusion won't take us out. Water Gun, so that's not, hopefully not going to do too much. No, not too, too much. We're going to go for a thunder shock. Oh, we need to make sure this counts. Make it count, Dolly. Make it count. Problem is, Dolly's kind of slow. And that's going to always put us at a bit of a disadvantage because uh, Dolly's quite slow. Anyway, Dolly's got that. Well done, Dolly. That's awesome. Who else have we got coming out? Or have they all just got one Pokemon each? Bulbasaur? Oh, Bulbasaur, well. We're going to go for... What should we go for? We'll go Flappy. And then if Flappy has a problem, we'll go Blaine. Oh, Flappy's quite close to levelling up as well, so... Try and get a Gust, I think. Get a Gust. Hopefully that'll do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, not, not bad, not too too bad, but not great either. That Growl's going to take our, our attack down. Um, can't remember whether Gust is special uh, special attack or just normal attack. Probably special, maybe, because you're not actually... Yeah, I think so. And he's going to hit us with a Leech Seed, but again, you know, grand scheme of things, we can still take him out with this Gust next turn. So let's do that. Let's try one more Gust. Take out this Bulbasaur so that Flappy can level up. Brilliant. Okay, that's excellent. 
Bulbasaur's fainted, so Flappy's going to level up. And he's got one more Pokemon. He might have one more Pokemon. Mm, ooh, Natu. Well, I suppose it make, would make sense to go to Sparks. The Sparks has got that bite attack. So we go for Sparks. Get the bite in. Hopefully it won't be too bad. If it is, it's a flying type, so we can always switch in for Dolly. Oh, got a bit of a... Bit of a pause in the old uh, frame right there. Echo, not too bad. Good, that bite did plenty of damage, so we should be able to get... We should be able to hang in there. And um, get another bite in. Eep. Yeah, good. Well done, Sparks. You might even level up. Are you leveling up for me? Yep, excellent. That's awesome. And we've defeated Sage Neil. Brilliant. I guess we've probably got maybe one more, one more to do. So we'll we'll uh, use some. Oh no! I am sorry, guys. Maybe that's why my um. Ah, oh, maybe that's why it paused a little bit. I did say that very occasionally there have been a few little glitchy things about this um, Storm Silver Nuzlocke. As you can see there, I've gone, I've turned into a big black square. So what I'll do is I will save here, guys. And um, usually when I reboot the ROM, everything is fine. So if I uh, save it up there and um, hopefully come back to you next episode and we will take on the leader of Sprout Tower and head to the gym. So, apologies again guys for cutting the episode a tiny bit short, but um, I'll go away and see if I can get this fixed, and uh, then, so I'll see you back in episode 6. See you later guys!